Hey folks, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider. Good old HDR out on the 2011 Harley Electric Glide. Uh, on a beautiful fall evening here. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about rushing holiday seasons. Now, you know, this is something that my wife really gets irritated about. Uh, she'll say, we'll go out shopping somewhere, be at the mall. And she'll say, I can't believe it. It's not even Halloween yet, and there's all this Christmas decorations up. Right? <laughs> all these Christmas decorations are out here, and it's not even uh, not even Halloween. It, and did you, notice, did you ever notice how they're pushing the holiday season closer and closer? They're always pushing it back. Here comes two bikers, three bikers. Hey, all right, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? So yeah, there's um, they're always pushing the holiday seasons uh, on upon us, I guess. Um, you know, and, and Christmas time in, in in general, I get very upset. I mean, now we're not we're God fearing people. Uh, we do go to church, but we're not you know super. We don't spread the word of of the you know the church and, and all that. But anyway, that being said, the thing is though, I think we're losing touch. Uh, with the younger generation uh, today in the fact that we're commercializing Christmas so much and the kids are seeing like Santa Claus in the malls like you know early November um, what are they going to see him next like during the Easter the Easter Bunny will be sitting here and Santa Claus over here just in case you kind of might know what you want for Christmas but they're commercializing Christmas so much I think we lost the true meaning or the true belief or the true uh you know the, the and the whole it wraps around the whole spiritual jesus thing da, 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 da. and we're not going to get into that but my big thing is is why do we have to commercialize it to the point where we're pushing it down everybody's throat uh you know starting in october i, I don't know but it's not only christmas folks back up a little bit we started seeing Halloween candy in the stores in August, uh, and my my wife looks at that candy. She goes, "Man, when in the world?" She said, "When did they get around this pen here?" She said, "Where do they keep all this candy, and how old is it? Uh, is this something they keep in the stock rooms?" And um, I said, "I don't know, hon. That's a possibility." So. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, August, September, uh, really early August, you start seeing uh, Easter candy. I mean, I'm sorry, Halloween candy. But, you know, you miss the whole, and, and she always says Thanksgiving is one of those holidays that kind of gets the shaft. Uh, nobody puts anything out for Thanksgiving. Um, and I know Thanksgiving kind of runs into the whole fall, uh, fall foliage thing. And, and I could I could get that you know I do I get it but the funny thing about that whole thing is um, that that's kind of hilarious to me is um, we don't really put turkey so now we do have a turkey on our door right now I believe and isn't that a shame I see my front door all the time my wife decorates I don't decorate uh, that is you know and, and I'm not sexist in any ways but um, and don't get me wrong guys if you like to decorate more power to you but it's been my way my beliefs in, in my father's it's, it's a female thing it's a feminist thing you know you hang turkeys you hang Easter bunnies on the door you know uh, she loves to decorate for Christmas and I like Christmas you know I like to decorate uh, my, my job is hanging all lights outside putting the tree up we, we bought a new artificial tree this year um, so my job is putting the tree up and then uh, her and the kids will come in and the kids will come over and visit and they'll decorate the tree. So yeah, I don't know what's on the door, but I think, uh, I do believe there's a turkey on my door right now. But in general, Thanksgiving does get the shaft. And now you watch right after Christmas is over, okay, so on the 26th, you'll go out to the malls or the store, your local Walmart, and get away from the big dog standing down there that guy's been building that barn up there for for several years he should call the uh, Amish folks and they can probably build it in a day for him <laughs> but I think he's doing it himself so I guess he's further along than I would be 
but right on the 26th you'll start seeing um, uh, Valentine candy out right for Valentine's because there's another holiday ran that holiday was created by Hallmark uh, and the funny thing is now Hallmarks are so expensive most people go to the dollar store to buy their Valentine cards they don't even buy very few people buy Hallmark cards anymore so uh, that's kind of funny oh lord you know so yeah so do you think they're rushing holidays uh, do you think it's something that uh, the retailers need to slow down on one thing here we love we've been doing this for years folks and I know you're gonna you're gonna put on my comments Jack you are a crazy man we go Black Friday shopping and we've been doing it for years several years uh, my sister will go with us we leave the house at four o'clock in the morning and we head out to Target and uh, we go we go to Walmart and we go to the mall and Macy's and you know whatever and uh, people laugh at me at work and ha <laughs> you you're kind of weird you're like a shopper no I'm a watcher I go out and I watch people walk around and I watch what people are buying I, I have a great time doing that um, but at least around here they have uh, ceased some stores have ceased to begin their Black Friday shopping on Thanksgiving Day because they want their families to enjoy each other and have some family time and I think that's just splendid that's wonderful um, oh is that a pretty red tree huh Whew. so they stopped uh, doing I guess they was calling it Black Thursday and we refuse to go out on Thursdays absolutely refuse to do so it almost looks like a spider coming up there uh, yep it is no it's not it's a trike so we refuse to uh, go on on Black Thursday and now the stores around here some stores are um, stopping that altogether they're, they're just not going to do it so um, I applaud the stores that are closing on Thanksgiving if you're watching this program and you're tuning into the old HDR let the HDR speech read if you're a manager or owner of a retail chain store close your doors and lock them up on Thursday open them up I don't care 4 a.m. on Friday and have a Black Friday sale as tradition will tell you to do oh, we're getting into this pretty sunset time of the day here um, this uh, ghost HD, uh, ghost HD camera though is weird you know it's getting a little dust but it will light that up out there uh, but you see some of my dark videos when I rode to work in the morning since it's pitch black out that's uh, absolutely horrid <laughs> uh, you can't see anything it's just like my my dashboard and it's just too dark to record all right, folks, let me hear. Uh, do you think they're pushing holidays on us? Do you think they're uh, shoving it down our throats? And uh, what do you think about Thanksgiving getting shortchanged and not getting all the publicity that, you know, Halloween and Christmas does, but we missed the one in the middle called Thanksgiving? All right, folks, have a great day. Uh, enjoy yourself. Get them motorcycles out there and let me get some of your videos and watch them because you know what? Soon I won't be riding. I will have to enjoy rides with you as you've been enjoying rides with me. Remember, folks, ride your own ride. Be safe out there, huh? Take care of yourself and anybody that's on that bike with you. I will talk to you next time. Harley Day Riders going to be down and out in southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye-bye for now, everybody. We'll see you.